Dream King Films. We're here with Coach Pendleton of the UC Christians. Hey, Coach. 2017. Just talk to me about what it's like show about this group of Christians. Uh, this group's a little different. Uh, you know, it's more of a. We don't really have the the uh, game changers that we had in the past. So this team is more of a you know a complete full team. Um, they've been together for a long time. A bunch of these guys and uh, uh, interest is to see what. Uh, what, what, what they can do and what can happen. Tonight, tonight was a little frustrating. Defense looked better. Um, offense looks good at times, but uh, we got a long ways to go. Yes, sir, Coach. It seemed like we had the same conversation around this time every year. Two straight state titles. Coach, how y'all put uh, a third straight title up there, or hope to put a third straight title up there, Coach? Uh, we got to get better. Uh, we got a long way to go. They don't give them out. Um, they don't give championships out. And, uh, we got a long ways to go and a lot of work to do, and uh, we're going to be coaching our butts off this year. And got a good staff, so um, you know, playoff system and all that stuff, and every game counts now, and uh, we'll see where it takes us. Yes, sir, coach. Let's let's talk about that. Let, let us get your thoughts on the new playoff system. Or do you like it, love it, hate it? Let's get your thoughts, coach. <laughs> I don't like it. It's a uh, it's a uh, really hard to schedule games. Nobody wants to play you. Um, get travel everywhere. We're traveling South Carolina to Georgia. We're traveling to Auburn there, the Clearwater. Uh, so for us, it, it's become an expensive year for football. And uh, But it is what it is. It's what the decisions that they made in the FHSAA. And uh, we'll live with it and play every game like it's a playoff. Yes, sir. Coach, talk to me about your offensive line. How good can that group be? They can be really good if they uh, come together. You know, we kind of grind them up tonight. But uh, I think... Uh, you know, as we just keep grinding and grinding and grinding, I think it'll. Uh, I think we'll come together. They've been, there's three of them been together for four years, so there's experience. They just, you know, got to get better. Yes, sir, Coach Clayton Boyd, a uh, couple state championships under his belt. Talk about Clayton and, and what he brings to this team, and how good can Clayton be, Coach? Uh, Clay's a leader. He's been a leader since he stepped on campus. Um, he's, you know, he played some as a freshman, to start as a sophomore, junior, going into his senior year. Um, you know, I just expect a lot out of him. Uh, he works hard. He's always working on the team. Um, and the uh, first one here, last one to leave. And he's just a kid that we depend on, and, and uh, the kids, you know, respect him. And, and so we expect him to to lead this team, you know, along hey, with the other seniors. And, get and, JD. You know, him down and, down. and Darrell have been, you know, together the whole time. So, JD. And uh, we expect a lot out of both of them. Yes, sir, Coach. Uh, stand with Darrell. Uh, Darrell Stubbs, Malik Brown, they're going to uh, get the lion's share of the carries coming out the backfield this year. Coach, talk to me about your running backs. Uh, we got uh, Jalen, who's been here four years. Uh, he's kind of, you know, been a wing back for us. He's going to be the featured back. And we got Max McClendon, who's a sophomore. That's, you know, he's going to have some big things coming. Um, and uh, Malik, he's uh, a guy that's, you know, waited his turn, and it's his, it's his time. So, you know, we got three good backs. Uh, Darrell gets in there some, and then we have we move some people around. So, um, I expect a good group. I don't think it's going to be what we've seen in the past, but I think there's going to be some hard nosed football being played. So that's all you can ask. Yes, sir, coach. Let's move over to the defense. Uh, Uriah Ratliff. I'm sorry, Uriah Ratcliffe, uh Riding the rivers. Talk to me about those two guys and this overall defense. Um, yeah. The, you know, Rodney's. Uh, we moved him to linebacker. We'll probably play some DN some too. And just uh, he's learning a new position. He's a big kid, physical. Um, so every day we're out here learning, teaching, and uh, you know I think he'll he's getting it. He's starting to understand the concepts of it. So I think he'll uh, he'll come along. He rise a leader. Uh, been starting playing since he was a freshman. So you know expect a lot out of him and uh, you know to lead the defense. He's pretty, he's pretty much him and Dyro are pretty much the leaders on the defense. And uh, when we get Tarver back, you know he'll. He'll mix in there too. So uh, defense looked good tonight, um, for sure. Um, it's good to see. It was a little, you know, replaced a lot of kids last year. So seeing these guys and, and watching them come downhill and compete, you know, that's all you can ask for. Yes, sir, Coach uh, Darrell mentioning his name again. He one of those short, fast guys that you see known to have over the years, as well as Javon here with Coach. Talk about having those uh, athletes on your defense. Uh, you know, they just you can do a lot more things when you got guys like them covering. When you got a good D line, you can put pressure on the offense, and that's what we do with them. And uh, they understand it, and uh, they do a good job of it. Yes, sir, Coach. Thanks for talking with us, and good luck to your future this Thank year. You. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. Yes, sir.